All right, so everybody wants to know how to buy Pulse Chain, which is quite possibly the most hyped up crypto launch since probably Ethereum and Bitcoin. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you how to buy PLS the token in four easy steps doing it the right way without wasting any time at all. So let's just get right into it, okay? Step one is you're gonna to need to get a centralized exchange account. If you don't have one of these already, if you're new to crypto, make sure you get a centralized exchange account on either Coinbase, uh, Kraken.com is a good one, Crypto.com is all right, I more so prefer Coinbase and Kraken, but if you're not in the USA, I know a lot of people like in Australia and New Zealand, for example, might have to use Crypto.com. They're all good. It doesn't really matter where your on-ramp is, but this is going to be your starting point, okay? Because this is going to be where you link your bank account to in order to transfer your dirty government money, we call it fiat money, into the crypto world. So Coinbase and Kraken are two of my favorites. Crypto.com is fine. There's really no right answer, wrong answer for this. I'm only mentioning these three because they're kind of the lesser of all evils, okay? Centralized exchanges are not good. They lose everybody's money all the time. I mean, I'm sure you guys remember FTX. You know, golden boy nerd loses $10 billion of users' hard-earned money. And these exchanges go down all the time, but these are a necessary evil, basically. They're gonna be the entry point where, again, you link your bank account or your credit card or PayPal or wire transfer. You know, they offer all types of different methods of getting your money into the crypto world but you need to make an account at one of these exchanges and they're called centralized exchanges. Again, I prefer Kraken and Coinbase and you should have no problem setting up an account. You can download the app on your phone or you can just sign up on the internet. You've set up an account for something before so I don't need to hold your hand through this, okay? You just provide your information and get set up and get an account, link your bank accounts you know, or credit card, whatever, and you're good to go. You're ready to start buying your first cryptocurrency. So the crypto that we're gonna buy on these centralized exchanges, these naughty centralized exchanges, is gonna be Ethereum, okay? Just ignore all the other ones for the sake of this tutorial. These are all a distraction. They're gonna list a whole bunch of coins. All you care about is ETH, otherwise known as Ethereum, okay? ETH. You click on it and you just go ahead and buy it or sell it over on the right-hand side here or just click up top, buy and sell. It's really easy. You don't need me to explain to you how to click buttons, okay? You can buy and sell crypto and you can send crypto to other people, all right? That's all you can basically do on a centralized exchange. That's all you need to do. Buy some Ethereum. Let's assume you buy like a hundred bucks of Ethereum, okay? That Ethereum, that ETH token is gonna show up in your account, but you're gonna have to withdraw it out of Coinbase or Kraken, whatever, very quickly, as soon as you possibly can. So that's step two. Step one is you get an exchange account and you buy Ethereum. Step two is you gotta get that Ethereum out of there and you gotta get it into what's called a decentralized self-hosted wallet otherwise known as MetaMask, okay? M-E-T-A-M-A-S-K dot I-O. Make sure you go to this website and download this crypto wallet and no other wallet, okay? There's a lot of phishing websites out there. There's a lot of fake websites that pretend to impersonate MetaMask and there are a bunch of scammers out there. If you're not careful, you can lose all your money. But MetaMask is kind of the one-stop shop for all things crypto and DeFi. DeFi stands for decentralized finance, if you didn't know that. So this is your gateway into the rest of crypto, right? Coinbase, Kraken, they're only gonna offer you a select few cryptos that they like, maybe 20 or 30 options. Again, you only care about buying Ethereum right now, and you gotta get that Ethereum off of Coinbase and into MetaMask. So if you don't have a MetaMask yet, download the browser extension for Chrome, Safari, whatever browser you're using. And I'm just gonna assume that you know what a browser extension is because you really should know about what that is, okay? They also have a mobile app on iOS and Android. This is a little bit less safe, okay? I typically prefer doing the desktop version, which appears as a browser extension, because this app, guys, this is gonna hold all of your crypto money, and if you lose it, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, okay? Meaning that you are in control of your own money. MetaMask is the app that puts you in control and not a centralized middleman, like a corrupt bank or Coinbase or Kraken. You know, crypto was invented to remove middlemen that have never had your best interest at heart. It was invented to replace the banking system, okay, and all the lizard people that work there. So Coinbase and Kraken are kind of just modern day banks, all right? They're just banks that will take your money, but they'll also let you hold crypto that's technically owned by them. So if the exchange goes down, your crypto goes down with it. What's safer? You need to put your Ethereum into a self-hosted wallet. So MetaMask is a wallet that holds your crypto that is essentially digital money under the mattress, okay? You own your money, but again, if you lose it, that's your responsibility. And this is actually a good thing, okay? Crypto is about pushing self-sovereignty on people, about growing up and about not expecting somebody else to ever hold your hand for you, especially not, you know, the financial sector or Wall Street. I mean, come on. So MetaMask, you download it. 
You follow the instructions. You're a grown up, you can set up MetaMask yourself, okay? You just follow the step-by-step -step instructions after you download it. Make sure you're only downloading it from metamask.io and watch the security video very carefully, okay? If you take nothing else out of this video, I just want you to listen to what I have to say right here, okay? This is probably the most important thing I'm gonna say. If you do not watch that security video when you're setting up your MetaMask account, and if you don't write down your 12 seed words, okay? They're gonna give you a 12 word passphrase, 12 words, that if you don't write them down and store them somewhere safe, you'll never be able to recover your wallet ever again, right? Which is again, why I say if you have your MetaMask on your iPhone, right? And you lose your iPhone, people lose their phones all the time. Well, if you didn't back up your seed words right in the MetaMask tutorial or introduction video, you're gonna lose all your money, okay? You have no way to get that wallet back or to restore that wallet. So I personally like to use a dedicated crypto computer or phone you know, maybe it's an old iPhone that you don't carry around every day, or maybe it's an old laptop that you only use for the purpose of doing crypto things. And that's the most important step of this whole process is setting up your MetaMask and writing down those 12 words that they give you during the setup process. We're not going to go through it. You're an adult. You can click buttons. You can download it yourself. But really, really important tip, guys, when you're writing these words down, write them down on paper or metal or write them down on a sheet of paper that you laminate so that it's waterproof and store them in a safe or somewhere very, very secure that nobody can ever get to, okay? Do not store them on the cloud. Do not store them anywhere connected to the internet. Do not take a screenshot of your seed words and then store them on iCloud backups. Don't store them on Dropbox. Don't store them on Google Drive, okay? I know a lot of you guys are gonna ignore me and do that anyway, but I've known tons of people that have lost all their money because guess what? Somebody hacks your Dropbox account, somebody hacks your iCloud, somebody hacks your Google Drive, they find those seed words, they hack into your MetaMask wallet and they steal all your crypto. I've seen it happen. Write them down, keep them somewhere safe. I'm not trying to scare you. This is actually a benefit of crypto is holding your own money so that you're not at the whims of corrupt politicians, bankers, and the powers that be, all right? Once you've got your MetaMask, it's gonna show up as a browser extension in the top right corner of Chrome or whatever browser. It's gonna look something like this. Look right here, okay? You can see I've already got some Ethereum sitting here in my wallet, but what you wanna do is every time you get a wallet, you get a public address. This is like your email address of crypto, okay? This is what you share with other people and people can use it to either send you money or you can send other people money by sending to their public address. It's just a long string of letters and numbers. It's gonna start with zero X, one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's your public address. It's okay to share this with other people and you're gonna basically be sharing it with yourself. So you're gonna click this right here, copy it to the clipboard, go back over to Coinbase, right where you bought the Ethereum then you're gonna send and receive and just get that Ethereum out of Coinbase into MetaMask. See right here, let's take all my Ethereum and let's go ahead and send it to the public address of my MetaMask wallet that I just created, okay? That's what you wanna do, you click continue. Just to set your expectations here, if it's your first time on Coinbase or Kraken or a centralized exchange, it can take up to seven days for your withdrawal to process. It gets faster over time, but just to manage your expectations, it will take up to a week if you're a first timer for that transaction to actually go through because Coinbase has to settle it, right? Coinbase is a middleman. It's very inefficient, but just know what to expect. So you're gonna send all your ETH into your MetaMask wallet, all right? Just like I've done right here. Next, what you're gonna go to is an app called Uniswap, all right? It's app.uniswap.org. Link is in the description below. Please use the link that I put in my YouTube description because it's gonna take you right here. Now, Uniswap makes it really easy for you to transfer any crypto coin into any other crypto coin. You could swap any coin for any coin as long as it's listed on the exchange by the users. So all we're gonna do, very simply, is we're gonna swap that ETH that we now have in our MetaMask, right? Directly for WPLS. Now, WPLS, if you're using the link below, it should show up automatically. It should automatically look like this right when you get to the screen. And you just go ahead and choose how much ETH you wanna swap for PLS. So let's say I wanna swap 0 0.002 Ethereum, that's only about $3, right? Well, you're gonna go ahead and click swap. And if it's your first time, you're gonna see a button here that says enable. Just enable it, pay the gas fee, and swap it. So we're just gonna confirm that. And it's gonna pop up our MetaMask automatically, okay? Now you're gonna notice anytime you do a send or a swap or any other function on a blockchain such as Ethereum, it's gonna cost you a gas fee. Look how it says gas, okay? Gas fee just means transaction fee. Now, right now on the Ethereum network, gas fees are outrageously high. Look right here, it's gonna cost me $7 just to, just to swap one coin for another. All right, and this is actually low. 
which is pretty funny. This is actually low for Ethereum. But imagine you're coming in with just 50 bucks or 100 bucks. You have to pay roughly 10% of that to the gas fees, right? Just as network fees that, you know, they go to all the validators. It's not important, all right? But these transaction fees are actually a lot cheaper on the Pulse Chain network, which is one of the reasons people are so hyped up about Pulse Chain is basically you'll never see these fees cost more than a dollar. Most of the time they're 10 cents, 20 cents, even down to one penny. So you'll see if I want to buy that $4 of WPLS, well, I got to pay a gas fee that's actually higher than the amount that I wanted to buy. But I'm just doing an example, okay? So my total is $11 in the form of ETH. Confirm that. Transaction will say submitted. A check mark will show up. And you're just going to have to wait, you know, a couple of seconds. It's going to say pending up here in the corner. But when the transaction is done, it'll give you a notification and you'll just see your balance of PLS go up. Right, so my balance is that I've got 34,000 WPLS right now, and I'm waiting for it to go through. There we go. See, it says swapped 0.002 ETH for 23,000 PLS. And look, my balance just went up. I now have 58,000 WPLS in my MetaMask wallet. Now that was step three. So we've got one, buy Ethereum on Coinbase. Two, transfer the Ethereum to, to MetaMask. Three, buy WPLS using Ethereum on this Uniswap website that I'm showing you. Now, step four is that we actually have to bridge this PLS into the Pulse Chain ecosystem, all right? So long story short, Ethereum is one blockchain network. Pulse Chain is a different blockchain network. So you just bought the native coin on the Pulse Chain network, but it still lives on the Ethereum network. So we need to get this PLS over into the Pulse Chain network itself so that you can do all the stuff you want to do. You can buy all the cool coins that you want to buy. And it's a lot more fun. It's way cheaper. And in my opinion, there's a lot better coins to buy with more upwards price potential over on that network. So what we need to do is bridge, okay? We're going to bridge this WPLS that we just bought from the Ethereum network into the Pulse Chain network. And to do that, we need to go to bridge.pulsechain.com. Here's the website again. It's bridge.pulsechain.com. Guys, all these links are in the description below. If you ever forget, just refer to the description. So here's a fun tip. You know how it says WPLS? Well, that W stands for wrapped. So this is actually wrapped PLS, but we want to unwrap that and get it over onto the Pulse Chain blockchain. The reason it's wrapped is because it has to be wrapped because it exists on a foreign blockchain. You could think of Ethereum and Pulse Chain like different countries, okay? The ecosystem, the country of Ethereum does not have the same coins available to trade as, you know, the country of Pulse Chain, the land of Pulse Chain. So we need to get this Pulse Chain back home. We need to get it back to its home country. And in the process, we're going to unwrap it and it's all automatic. You don't even see any of that. So your screen should look like this. And let's say I want to send uh, 50,000 PLS back to Pulse Chain and receive just regular PLS, right? And guys, really quick side note, ETH, the token ETH, is the primary token that you pay gas transaction fees on the Ethereum network. Pulse, abbreviated as PLS, is the primary token or coin that you use to pay gas transaction fees on the Pulse Chain network, okay? So for an analogy, ETH is to Ethereum as PLS is to Pulse Chain. Makes sense so far? So really quick, it's so easy. You just click the send button on bridge.pulsechain.com. Yes, there's a tiny 0.3% fee, so I'm gonna receive 49,850 PLS, that's fine. Now here's one thing that you gotta remember, okay? You have to send a minimum of 50,000 PLS in order for the bridge to work. This is basically just to make the transaction worth it. I mean, 50,000 PLS might sound like a lot. Right now, though, that's only about $10 worth, okay? So if you're not sending more than $10 worth of Pulse across the bridge, well, I don't know what to tell you. You should probably be investing more than $10 into something if you want to ever see any reasonable gains, okay? So just make sure you're above the minimum of 50,000 PLS. I'm going to do exactly 50,000. Now I'm going to go ahead and send. And remember, look at this message here. It's going to take you up to 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more, for the coins to get across the bridge. So this one is not instantaneous. So if you don't see it show up in your wallet right away, don't worry, just wait, you know, 30 minutes, maybe wait an hour or two. It's gonna be fine, okay? Click the send button. Then you go ahead and click send again. MetaMask comes up again, charges you another gas fee. Uh, guys, this is the last time you'll have to pay these expensive gas fees. I know it's another $7 transaction fee, which really sucks. But once you're on the Pulse Chain Network, Fees are going to be, you know, 50 cents and below. So we're going to confirm this right here. And we just wait a couple of seconds for the transaction to go through. Now, if you're wondering, guys, if you're wondering what happens, but you can check on them up here where it says transactions, go ahead and click on transactions and you can go ahead and see. So in the past, I did a bridge of, I bridged a hundred hex 
That's another token I like. From the Ethereum network to the Pulse Chain network. And this transaction went through a long time ago and it says claimed, right? With the PLS transaction that I just made, you can see that I bridged 50,000 PLS from ETH to Pulse Chain and I have a sending transaction, but I have no receiving transaction yet. So I'll know this is completed when the receiving transaction field is populated and when the claim button says claimed, okay? And if it doesn't automatically claim the tokens for you, just click this claim button and it'll claim the tokens for you, okay? So just check back here in an hour, you'll be fine. But congratulations, there you go, there's that four-step process. Now, what do you do with all your PLS? Well, guys, I'm gonna give you a really fast and easy tip to get onto the Pulse Chain Network and start swapping for different tokens that you might want. You know, for example, things like Hex, things like Pulse X, uh, Hedron, many other tokens are on the uh, ecosystem. It's so simple, it couldn't be easier. You just go to app.pulsex.com. That's app.pulsex.com. Link in description below. Now, guys, because it's your first time doing this, I'm assuming, the Pulse Chain Network is not actually in your MetaMask wallet yet. It's no problem. Just follow the buttons on the screen right here on this app.pulsex.com website and click Switch Network in Wallet, okay? Because right now, your MetaMask wallet is connected to the Ethereum network. You just need to flip-flop, okay? You need to flip the switch and get it over on Pulse Chain. So click the buttons right here. It'll guide you right through it. Switch Network. MetaMask pops up says would you like to add this network you say yes approve and then it'll say look you're switching from eth mainnet to pulse chain click switch network boom it could not be easier so here you are here you're going to be able to see all your pls that comes through the bridge right it hasn't been an hour yet so i don't see any coins yet but you will see all your pls right here and now if you want to trade pls for any other coins on the pulse chain ecosystem you can choose things like hex hedron the INC token, PulseX, there's a lot of different coins to choose from here. Plus, you can choose something that might not be on the default list as well. This video is not about that. That was just how to buy PLS in four easy steps. Now, if you want a hot tip, thanks for sticking till the end because I'm going to give you one quick tip before I leave. And I know that's a little bit of a complicated way of doing things, right, when it comes to buying PLS. But it's actually the safest way and it's the most secure way from a crypto perspective. It's going to teach you exactly how to do crypto the right way. By getting your money into MetaMask as soon as possible, you are taking the money out of the centralized middlemen and putting it into your own hands. But if you want an easier way to do that, right now there are two centralized exchanges, kind of like Coinbase and Kraken, but they offer PLS directly right away. Now these exchanges are OKX.com, that's OKX.com, or Kanga, K-A-N-G-A dot exchange, all right? Now Kanga is only available in the EU, all right, in the European Union, it's a Polish exchange, but if you're not American and if you're in the EU, you can go ahead and buy PLS directly right from this website, Kanga Exchange. Also, OKX is pretty big in China, Hong Kong, you know, the Asia, the Eastern areas, and it's actually the third largest exchange in the world. You can also buy PLS directly here, but again, not if you're an American. So if you're in the USA, sorry, you got to use a USA approved exchange. But right now you can also buy it on OKX and Kanga, and it's an even easier process because you know, instead of buying it directly on Coinbase and then buying Ethereum and then trading your Ethereum for Pulse and then bridging and all that, you can just buy PLS directly from here. But before you go any farther, before you use one of these centralized exchanges, just make sure that when you buy PLS on those exchanges, that you're withdrawing it to your MetaMask address as soon as possible. You got to withdraw it out of any centralized exchanges. OKX and Kanga are no different, okay? These could get hacked at any time. We don't know. It could just be negligence. It could be a malicious, deliberate attack, but exchanges go down all the time. And I, I feel like I really don't need to remind people of FTX again, but it happens like once a month in crypto. Exchanges are naughty. They're very, very bad, very, very risky. So if these exchanges are more your speed, just make sure you're withdrawing your PLS out of them as soon as you can and directly into MetaMask. And then they'll show up right on the Pulse Chain network directly. And you'll be able to you know, trade on PulseX.com all you want. So I hope you learned something today. Make sure you like and subscribe, but more importantly, make sure you share this video with anybody that might need it because a lot of people are asking the same question right now, how to buy PLS. And it's not necessarily obvious, right? There's a four-step process. I tried to make it as streamlined and easy as possible. So hopefully whoever you share this video with can understand what they're actually doing and how to do it the right way. All right, thanks guys. And I'll see you on the next video.